Hello, Cougars. Welcome back to Cougar News. My name is Dre. And my name is Selena. Julius Caesar is this weekend. In fact, this evening we have some shows. We interviewed some of the cast. Hey, Cougars. I'm here interviewing some of the cast and crew members here from the production of Julius Caesar. So what is your role in the play? I play Marcus Brutus. Um, what was the process of doing your role? Um, well, long and arduous. I have like 5,000 something words I had to memorize. So. Oh, wow. And what do you think the audience should look most forward to in coming to see the show? Um, I think a lot of the fight scenes are pretty cool. Um, both like the verbal arguments and the physical fights. Okay, thank you, thank you. What is your role in the play? Uh, I'm Julius Caesar. Can you share with us the process of preparing for your role? Sure. Uh, for Julius Caesar, I'm not in any of the acting classes, so I'm not able to learn a lot from there. But I, I watched like a jailhouse performance of Shakespeare's Julius Caesar and just watched how that Julius Caesar did it and trying to copy them. Yeah. Um, what do you think the audience should look most forward to in coming to see the show? I think the fight scenes are pretty epic. I, I really like how our choreography is, like all our characters, how we move around the stage and use the platforms and stuff. It's really cool. Thank you. Thank you. So what role do you play? I play Cassius. Okay. And can you explain the process of preparing for this role? Many hours put into practicing lines. I have the second uh, biggest amount of lines in the play. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Just a lot of hard line practice. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, and what do you think the audience should be look most forward to in coming to see the show? The interpretations of lines. Because Shakespeare really leaves everything up to interpretation much of the time. Uh, so it's really creative with what some people have decided to do with their bodies along with the lines. Because to understand Shakespeare, it's a lot of body motion to go with the words. So yeah, I'd say look forward to those little things. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Perfect. So what is your role in the play? I'm Octavia Caesar. Can you explain to us the process of preparing for your role? It's a lot of practice with cast and then getting ready with dress rehearsals and then we just kind of run it. Cool, cool. What do you think the audience should look forward to most in coming to see the show? Taking a stab at Caesar, even if it's the wrong one. What was your favorite part about getting ready for the show? My favorite part is that I'm able to work here, like on the show, helping out. Do you like plays? Do you like Shakespeare? Make sure you come and enjoy the production this weekend. For Cougar News, I am Brianna Porter. It is the Great Kindness Challenge this week. We went around to see how Cougars were spreading kindness. Hi Cougars, it's the Great Kindness Week. Let's go see how you guys spread kindness. What does kindness mean to you and how do you spread it? I think kindness is just being nice to people and just making sure that you give them a smile if you like them. Thank you. What does kindness mean to you and how do you spread it? Um, kindness, um, let me think. Kindness can be spread like actions. I don't know, like show that you care. Thank you. What does kindness mean to you and how do you spread it? Being nice to people and smiling at them. Thank you. You're welcome. What does kindness mean to you and how do you spread it? Um, showing my affection to the people that I love and probably like texting my friends like how much I love them or something. Thank you. Back to Cougar News, guys. The question today is, what does kindness mean to you and how do you spread it? And I'm with my friend Jose, and we're going to pass it on. Let's go give out kindness. Let's go. Let's go give out kindness. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Uh, Excuse me. See? The hair is fire. The headphones are fire. I like the fit. It's pretty fire. See? I look he like that. Okay. See? You have a good day. Now, four more, four more people. <laughs> Ready? Come over here. Look. Bring, bring a little closer. Bring a little closer. Look. Bro, wait, do you go to Oscar Cuts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Hit him up. The lunch ladies don't get enough kindness. Like, let's go. Let's go talk to them. They need someone to brighten up their day, too. Now, we just came to, like, appreciate what you do for us and all that. Yeah, and for the school. Thank you. We love you guys. That's why we do what we do. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Now we need two more people to share act of kindness for. Everyone knows, like, if, okay, honestly, if she's alone, she might need some, like, some kindness into her life. So, I think she knows we're going to her. Well, we're going to say, the backpack's fire. 
Look, get get in her backpack. Get her look. Get a look at her backpack. The pin is fire. And yeah. That is another act of kindness. Until next time, this is Gary Cougar News. We're out. Well, Selena, looks like that's all we got for this week. It seems so, Dre. We'll update you guys next week and remind you of what's going on around our beloved world of Granite Hills High School. For now, Cougars, I'm Selena. And I'm Dre. And remember, Cougars, maroon, maroon and gray, gray lead the way. way.